Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to explore like a transaction between a secure web server and a client machine. We will be capturing the packets from server side using Wireshark tool and analyze them. For that, I have CentOS machine running as the web server and I'm using Windows machine as a client PC. Before capturing the packets and analyzing them, let's familiarize the network configuration of both server and the client PC. This Windows machine is going to be our client PC and I have a CentOS machine open parallelly. This is going to be our server machine. Now let's verify the network configuration of both the system. I'm opening the terminal. The server machine is configured with the IP address 10.106.120.44. Now let's verify the network configuration of the client machine. Our client machine is configured with the IP address 10.106.120.34. The host name configured is my.sendos.server. Now let's turn on the packet capture on the server side. Here we are using Wireshark for capturing the packets. Now we have to apply a filter so that the packets of only client and the server will be captured. This is the filter that we are going to apply. Here you can see the IP address 34 is the client system IP address and 10.106.120.44 is the IP address of the server. With this filter, the packet transaction between the client and the server machine will only be captured. Let's apply the filter and start capturing. Now let's go back to the client system and access the website. We have successfully accessed the website. Stop the capture. We have successfully captured the packets. Now let's have a brief overview of what we have captured so far. Here you can see the first three messages are TCP handshake messages, SYN message, SYN ACK message, then comes the final acknowledgement message of TCP handshake. And now comes the TLS handshake message client hello, server hello, change cipher spec, then comes the application data, then again an application data, encrypted alert, finac message from the server to the client machine, then comes the finac message from the client system to the server system, then comes the TCP acknowledgement message. Now let's have a deeper dive into each and every messages. The first message is TCP SYN message. Let's expand the TCP and now expand the flags and we can see the SYN is set to 1. Now comes the TCP SYN ACK message. Expand the TCP, expand the flags. And you can see the acknowledgement is set to 1 and the SYN is set to 1. Now comes the final ACK message. Expand the flags. Acknowledgement is set to 1. The next message is the starting of TLS handshake. That is client hello. Let's expand the secure socket layer. Here it shows the TLS version and the handshake protocol client hello expand the client hello and see what exactly is inside the client hello expand the handshake protocol and you can see the contents of the handshake protocol client hello is random values cipher suite supported cipher suites compression methods and extensions now comes the server hello from the server side to the client machine it contains four parts. One is server hello, then certificate, server key exchange, server hello done. Inside the server hello, we will find something similar to the client hello. We will see the random value, cipher suits, compression methods and extensions. Then comes the certificate. Server is exchanging the certificate to its client. 
now comes the server key exchange let's expand the server key exchange handshake protocol server key exchange expand this one and you can see the kind of uh, encryption method used by the tls and now comes the server hello done now we have the client key exchange the client key exchange message is sent right after the server hello done is received from the server now client generates the pre-master key and encrypts it using the server public key extracted from the certificate provided by the server this means that only server can decrypt the pre-master key now after the server receives the pre-master key it uses its private key to decrypt it now the client and the server compute the master secret key based on the random values exchanged earlier the master key is used by both the server and the client to symmetrically encrypt the data for the rest of the communication now comes change cipher spec at this point the client is ready to switch to a secure encrypted mode of communication using the symmetric key that has been already shared similar to the change cipher spec from the client machine to the server here we can also see a change cipher spec is sent from the server machine to the client pc notifying the client that the server is ready to switch to a secure encrypted mode of communication now now it is time to transfer the actual application data now you can see a finac message is initiated from the server side to the client pc informing the client that the session is going to end let's expand the flags you can see the acknowledgement is set to one and the fin is set to one encrypted alert is also similar to the finac in tcp the encrypted alert in tls is a way of informing the other party that the TLS session is going to an end and, and you can see an acknowledgement message from the server side to the client PC acknowledging the end of the session. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also comment your feedback.